Hello guys, hope you people are doing well. Earlier I uploaded the construction video on foundation, ejection and paying out of conductor. I got several requests from viewers to upload video on conductor sagging. This time this video is all about that explained in details. Once the conductor paying out is over, it's time to meet the clearance criteria of line which is between the conductor and ground and between the face conductor under maximum load condition. The process of attaining this is called sagging. Let us look into the procedure of sagging step by step. From the side view of the tower, we divide it into two zones. One is sagging zone and other is non-sagging zone. Our first step is holding the conductor in non-sagging zone. 18 or 20 mm wire rope slings is attached to the cross arm. Other end of the sling is attached to the automatic clamp fixed on conductor. This is done to maintain required rough sag tension in backspan during sagging. Let us now move into the sagging zone which start with hoisting of tension insulator sets with power winch machine. The universal joint of the insulator string is properly fixed with the tension plate of cross arm. 20 to 25 meter apart from the insulator, an automatic clamp is fixed on one conductor coupled with pulley. Steel wire rope one end fixed to yoke plate of insulator will be passing through the pulley coupled with automatic clamp, tower body and tower leg to winch machine. This arrangement of pulleys are done to reduce the force given to get the work done. Tension on the conductor is applied using power winch machine. Sagman need to check the deep of the conductor till it coincides with the hairline of the sag scope and sag board. The span which is nearer to the equivalent span shall be identified as a sag span to measure the sag. Atmospheric temperature reading is noted from the thermometer kept in shade. The sag is checked with respect to the noted atmospheric temperature from approved sag chart. Sagboard are properly installed before taking final sag. Sagging should not be carried out in abnormal climatic condition. For conductor sagging, initial sag and tension chart is referred. It is the sag and tension at the time the line is built. 
final sag and tension are calculated if the conductor has experienced 10 years of deep elongation at the conductor temperature of 60 degree Fahrenheit. Overhead conductor elongates with time, temperature and tension, thereby changing their po original position after installation. Despite the weather condition and loading on line, the conductor must remain at safe distance from any object. For this reason, initial sag and tension chart is referred. Once the sagging is over, 6 ton pull lift will be attached to the insulator string with the help of 16 or 20 mm wear lobe slings. Other end of the pull lift will be attached to the automatic clamp fixed on conductor. Once again, verify the sag by matching the nodal point of the strung conductor with sag board. Mark the conductor after attaining desired sag level and cut the excess conductor length. Same procedure as said earlier is adopted for other conductor to attain the desired sag.
before dead ending the bundling of conductor need to be checked with total station this is to ensure that all the subconductor are on same level any adjustment required can be done by adjusting the pull lift sagging platform is lifted where preparation for conductor will be done In case of steel reinforced conductor upper layer of aluminum need to be removed as per approved drawing dimension then the steel dead end is inserted and compressed followed by aluminum recording of pre and post press dimension in dead end joint details report is mandatory to detect any flaws Once the dead ending is over, connect the dead end joint with tension insulator string. Release the load slowly by releasing the load of the pull lift. Nowadays sag bridge can also be used for more safe operation some tips it may happen that conductor is in sag at one checkpoint and it may not be in sag at other sag checkpoint then in that case you should check the sag calculation check the temperature check the height of sag board and sag scope check the conductor rollers for any friction or malfunctioning check the span length of each section hope you enjoyed watching the video please like share and comment in the comment section below and please do subscribe my channel to get more informative video this is end for today bye bye